Hello and welcome. This is a key stage three chemistry video and it's the second video for changes of state. The first one is on the YouTube channel. So when we're talking about changing state, we have a specific meaning for this video. We are talking about changing state between solid, liquid and gas. Changing between solid, liquid and gas. And remember, this is a physical change, a physical change. It's not a chemical reaction that happens. It's a change from one state to another. There's no chemical reaction that goes on. So over here we've got in our container, you might just be able to see there is a solid substance. That's actually some ice. So there's our solid. And if we were to look at the particles in that solid, the particles, you can see a diagram there of what the particles might look like. So they're in rows and columns in what we call a lattice structure. And we've dealt with that in the previous video on changes of state. Now, if we were to heat our solid, it would start melting. At some point it would start melting. And as it melts, it turns to a liquid. And if you look at the particles in the liquid, they're arranged slightly differently to that in our solid. And if we continued heating our liquid, it would start boiling. It will start boiling and again the particles are arranged in a different way in a gas compared to when we have a liquid. We can also cool down our gas. This is called condensing. So as we cool it down it will start condensing. And if we were to cool even further we would get the change from liquid to solid and that's called freezing. That's called freezing. So that's an overview of our changes of state. It's probably worth mentioning that when we are melting, we are heating. Melting and boiling involves heating. And condensing and freezing involves cooling. And the final thing I want to mention here is the idea that if we start off with a certain amount of our solid, so let's, for example, say we have 100 grams of solid, 100 grams, we are going to get 100 grams of liquid. As long as we're careful and don't lose any, we're going to get 100 grams of liquid, and in fact also 100 grams of gas. So there's no change in mass at all between changing from solid, liquid, and gas. The mass of each substance stays the same. We say that mass is conserved when changing state. There's no loss or gain in mass. Let's take a look at a graph of what happens to the temperature when we change state. So here's our graph. We have temperature on our y-axis. So we're looking at the temperature over a period of time when our solid is being heated. In fact, when our solid, liquid and gas is being heated. So here's our solid. This is some ice inside a beaker. We've got a liquid in the second diagram there and we have gas right at the top there. Now, one thing to remember from this graph is that anywhere where the line is going upwards, where the line is moving up, that's where the substance is getting hotter. The temperature is rising. So that's that point there, up at that point there, and down at this point here. So that's where the temperature is getting higher, the substance is getting hotter. However, at the flat parts, there's not nothing happening. The flat parts is where... For example, the ice will start melting into a liquid and the liquid will start boiling to make a gas. So the flat parts are where we get the changes of state. The changes of state are either melting or boiling based on the graph we're looking at here. Remember, there is no or there is not a temperature change. It's not getting hotter. While the substance is melting, it's not getting hotter. It's just changing from solid to liquid when it's melting and liquid to gas when it's boiling. So the flat parts, the substance is not getting hotter. It is changing state. So that's melting and higher up liquid to gas. That's boiling. These are the changes of state where the temperature does not increase. Now, if you're quite keen with science and you want to take your explanations to a higher level, we could talk about what happens when we have boiling changing from liquid to gas. The particles will gain energy as they are heated. 
and they will overcome the forces of attraction that are between them, overcome the forces of attraction. This means that they will move further apart from each other and the liquid, the liquid will turn to gas. We can use a very similar explanation for melting and if you want more details on that, look at the previous video that we've explained this in a lot of detail. We can also look at the changes of state graph when we're cooling. So we've got gas, we've got liquid, and right at the bottom there, we've got our solid. So what happens here? Well, in a similar way, when we go from gas to liquid, we cool down, and this is called condensing. This is what we talked about in our first slide. When we go from liquid to solid, we cool down again, and this is when the liquid will start freezing, going from liquid to solid. And again, we've got flat parts on the graph where those changes of state happen. So there's our condensing. The temperature does not change while we are condensing or freezing, but it changes, it gets lower as we cool the gas, liquid or solid. On the graph, I haven't put any units only because the pattern is the same for different solids, liquids and gases. So we'll have a bit where it cools down, a bit where it's flat. The only difference would be the temperatures at which it happens. So different substances have different boiling and melting points, different condensing and different free freezing points. So for water, for example, if we were using water here, the condensing and boiling point is 100 degrees C and the freezing and melting point is 0 degrees C. But for other substances, those numbers might be different. However, the shape of the graph will be the same for pure substances. So let's just tidy up that writing a little bit. It looks a bit untidy to me and move over the 100 degrees C a little bit. And there we have it. The graphs for changing of state when we're heating and when we're cooling, and the key terms involved when we're making these descriptions. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.